a boss a boss man should never be locked up. You know what I'm saying? Especially when we're not really sure what the charges is. And a person who providing sustenance for his community, such as um boss man Dilo, like we never want to see him. We never want to see him, you know what I'm saying, in, in any in any spot where he can't give us good music. Uh shout out to Big Za. Um this is um hmm? just uh you know, I question really, you know, why you are the way that you are, and then I just chalk it up to you uh, lost cause a long time ago. So, just what's like, wrong? Like, what's wrong though? I don't understand. Like, what's wrong? What's his uh, like his project that he dropped? Like, you know, the most recent one. What's the name of it? You talking about Mister Beat the Road? Yeah. What does that mean to you? I'm in a Hellcat driver, like I don't love my life. That's what it mean. You know what I'm saying? Ride around with a pocket full of book up. <laughs> uh hey yo, I'm Lito. That's Chris. <laughs> we we are the best podcasters in the world. Uh we are part yeah. of an organization who is the best uh, New Orleans Pelicans content in the world. Um, shout out to everybody involved. Um, just remember, you might be hated. They just can't duplicate it. Um, they're talking about the, the, the show. You might not see the likes. But trust and believe that they're watching. All right. So here we go, right? What are we talking about? We talking about Jeremiah. <laughs> Robinson Earl. I don't mean to laugh at that. Cause JR, you my dog. That's one of the oldest names ever. Yeah. Like Damn. Trey Jemison looked like his name should be Jer- Jeremiah Robinson Earl. The fourth. Um the fourth. So we just did a show about Trey Jemison. I don't know when that's coming out, but this show about Jer- Jeremiah Robinson Earl, I feel like it could be an interesting show because it's a lot of uh it's a lot of things, you know, obviously he's going to be the, the the backup for, I'm, assu- I'm assuming, this season uh, if no other moves are made for the Pelicans. And I think that we got to talk about his use and how, you know what I'm saying, they're going to get the best version of, of JRE. Um, but, but before we do that, this podcast is sponsored by the Vignair Law Firm. Um, shout out to Scott. Scott New. Scott Vignette, you know what I'm saying, attorneys at law. I'm looking for the clip. I'm trying to find the hurt joint, but I don't see it. Oh, there we go. Hurt, 504-511-11. That's Scott Vignette and the Vignette Law Firm. Scott, put us in a commercial, baby. Let us let us order the coffee. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. With the, with the palm music. Yeah. Hey, uh, huh? that's what they had in the... The music, no. All right. Um. I seen him throw that ball. So. (laughs) (laughs) Oh man. So yo man, listen, listen, man. Why he say that like that? <laughs> why? Why did you do? Why did you do that? Why did you do that, Adrian? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was so unnecessary. Play it again, man. Play, play. <laughs> I seen him throw that ball. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> the end made it even worse. Oh my god. Can you Adrian play the with, film, man? Adrian with full white woman. All right, man. God, Jeremiah man. Robinson Earl. Look, man. Listen, listen. Just with some 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 detail. We look. Oh, last man. year, last year he played thirty nine games for the Pels. Um, he shot thirty three percent from three. He shot forty seven percent from two. He only attempted one three a game. Chris and I on this show, we're gonna talk about um, just the style of play. But I think that Jerry might have to shoot more threes. 
Now, mind you, the one three attempt, we talked about this before the show started, it was in limited minutes. He only got like eight minutes a game last year. So it's not a lot of, you know, he didn't have a very long leeway to figure out his place on the floor. But um, anyway, shout out to, who is this? Intuition fucking hoops, bro. Yeah, yeah. You've been saving the summer, dog. You've been saving the summer. Um, all right, here we go. So I don't know how how good this brother is, but I one of the things I told Lito um, is that I think Robinson Earl has one of the more fluid and prettier jumpers on the team, and I'm I'm talking specifically from from three. I don't know what that translates to if he plays um, has a larger role on the team over an 82 game season. Plus, if you make the playoffs, but um, I'd be open to see how he competes, you know, uh, for an opportunity at that five position or even, you know, in, in spurts where he's, you know, a four, depending on how they how they set it up. I don't think he is he truthfully, a, you know, a center. But when you're limited in options, yeah, that's mainly pretty much how, you know, how they use them. I can think of like the Rockets game, for example, might have been a second or third Rockets game that was in New Orleans where – he was the only real option for them to close the game. They ended up losing that game, but he was one of the reasons that I think they had a lead or it was close played. He was really the only option to kind of guard and deal with Sengun made some really good plays offensively as well during that stretch. So um, I'm not sure how he fits going forward, but I know he has some good relationships on the team. Um, But if he's a weapon, if he's someone that with volume could be a weapon, from the perimeter, um, could be something there. So before we show the show, we we were talking and um, yeah, it got it got real sick. I was watching JRE's uh, IMG highlights, and um, he had a hell of a senior year. I'll say that. But anyways, his draft comp said that he was the most most versatile player in the in the year he was drafted. Mm-hmm. One of his comps was David West, which. Chris was like, that's ironic, obviously, given what he plays. And to Chris's point, this is a really, this is a really nice, this is a really nice looking shot. Like the balance on this shot, first of all, first of all, shot the coach. Um, I'm not gonna call that a stampede cut because he didn't take off, but just the fact that jab swing got knives off his feet, he out of he out of what he needs to be. And then you got one of the more athletic players at eight uh and Contesting the shot, you know what I'm saying? And you still, bro. Look at the balance. He went from a dribble. This is a six. This, this is a six foot nine, six foot ten man. Like this is this is impressive. I know this is a little. You know, this is not anything major, but like it's impressive that he was able to find his his footing like that. It was just a good shot. Look at really smooth game. jumper. Yeah, really smooth jumper. He. Oh, he, he he a smart player. Oh, this must be the tw- yeah. This twenty tweet. Well, anyways, yeah. Nah, what you looking at? What you mean? This was oh. this was this year. Oh, I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let's talk about the shot. Let's go back to the shot. Hold on. Let's before we do that. This is a this is a good attack against, you know, a decent shot block and in cat. Got to the spot, faded away. Wasn't a true Jimson hook, but you know. Cody Zeller and James and Earl. They're in minutes together on the floor. And he got to shoot more of them, Chris. Beautiful well, looking I, jumper, bro. Like, good pass, Dyson. He'll obviously play more minutes this year, but like him shooting one three a game, he going to have to, he going to provide his work. Good, good dog. So hold up. Good pass, good cut. Hold up. Did you, you saw what B.I. told him to go? No. B.I. told him to set it. He looked at how nobody went with him. See, see, by B.I. Oh no, B.I. tell him to go. My bad, mm-hmm. B.I. My bad, B.I. But my bad, B.I. Good recognition, B.I. Nice, nice, nice and nicer. Man, B.I. Bro, you play with a little bit more pace this year, son. It's such an easy shot, too, dog. Quick, it's nice. 
it's hard for closeouts to get there. They got to empty out the, you know, the uh, the baseline in the corners, and they pack in the paint for drives, whether that be bi or they stacking the stacking the uh, the paint for Zion. Like a guy with his jumper's dream. If he if if he's a real deal shooter at that side of that position, I'd be interested because he is smart. He's been around, you know, a little bit now. He's played. You know, it's not like we haven't. He doesn't have experience in playing for, um, you know, playing against NBA talent. It's not like you know he had some time in Oklahoma City before he got to New Orleans. You know, he's played twenty minutes a game before. Played a little bit last season. I, again, I, I don't, I don't know, but he, he is one of the more intriguing options because it's when, when you talk about that position, when you talk about the center position, even when you talk about power forward, we talk about Carlo. Mm-hmm. Now we talk about Trey Jemison, right? But <laughs> we, we talk about Carlo. We talk about you know Messi who just got drafted. We talk about Tice. No one mentions Robinson Earl. Right, right, and he. Obviously, he's the most skilled out of all of them. Uh, no, you think you think he's more skilled than Tice, or you think that he can just do? When I say more, he more versatile than Tice is. Pro- okay, man, probably he he's more athletic than Tice is. He's more yeah. shifty. Yeah, yeah, he got a little bit more guard in his game than, than Tice don't have. You know, yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Tice is more tra- is more traditional in the way he's structured. But but at the same time, probably, you know, I, I know this is a tight. This is a this is a uh, this is a Robinson Earl show. But in the same in the same mindset, the shot that he's shooting, Tice got a decent shot too. Tice can shoot that. That's listen. That's one of the things about well, as bad as this fucking team, at, at, well, at that that part of the. The roster is one of the more intriguing things. If you throw out Trey Jemison and you throw out Missy, between Carlo Robinson, Earl, and Tice, you have at least willing shooters. Yeah, willing yeah, yeah. shooters, we think. Don't know how successful and efficient they'll be over the course of a season, but I don't think you've had that many of that many options at least to knock down an occasional three at that position in a long time. You may have had one guys, maybe it tops two, but not possibly three. Um if they're all on the roster post training camp and preseason. It's something to think about. I I forgot about Carlo because Carlo has a good looking shot also. Not yeah. not sure of how you know potent the shot is, but I, anyways, the the <laughs> dog, look at the rotation on the basketball. In this shot, this shit was beautiful. Beautiful, bro. Yeah, yeah, really nice shot. I, I can't now go back. He created that. Yep, the game over with and everything, but go back. He creates this for himself, really, by how he sets it up and the how I mean, how he notices, yeah, yeah, the pace of the play. How he notices where he needs to be, like like the spatial awareness. Go back. Who threw that pass? Cody. No, that's Matt. Good job, Matt. Matt. Good job, Matt. Larry. Larry would have threw that bitch. <laughs> but but simple stuff like that, dog. Even like when you're the big and you pushing the ball up and you starting the possession with pace, you staying in space. Ready to get the basketball back, not knowing if you're going to get it. You know, that's pretty good, man. Shout out to JRE for being a willing shooter in all these highlights, though. He's ready. He's ready for the ball every time. Yeah. And and for a guy who, you know, he would play 39 games, so it's not like his number was called a lot. Mm, I like that. I like that. Sit down in a chair immediately after that, dog. I don't know what this brother's going to be. If he'll even be a part of the rotation or even on the team. But I'd like to see him get the opportunity, man. I think there's something here. Get good basketball, good. I, I just don't know how good it is. And I don't know how how it helps fill some of the needs that the team had necessarily. 
Ooh. Oh. Okay. I was at that game. Shout out to you. Good job, boy. I think he's a solid. I think he's a solid basketball player. Like I, I think he got a lot of twenty first century skill that he belongs on a roster. Yeah, for sure. He's a professional basketball player. Yeah, 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 exactly. He he should be on a roster, whether that means he's he, he's playing minutes or not, it's to be determined. But he should be on the NBA roster. Mm. Good move. Ain't even First talk to the bench on him. Don't get spot. Say, all right, look, hold up, hold up. Check his IQ out. He's he sits in the dunker spot. He waits for George Niang to turn his head and then he fades to the corner. George Niang still thinks he still thinks he's in the dunker spot. He takes and a you know, peek. Yeah. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was about to say he took he took a peek, and when he was still right there, he faded away. So now when Najee converts to the middle of the lane, he thinking, well, I guess he think that Jose gonna fade corner. And he still go go there to try to box him out, but yeah, I'm not even there. Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Um, it's also modern because yeah. he could have like it's what today's game is and should be about. He understands that he could have stayed. He could have like stayed in between that baseline darker spot area, and maybe could have still had an opportunity to either create between him and Najee. Um, an open two look, or possibly even still get a dunk or get to the free throw line. But mm. he makes the right play or the right decision, I think, in this year by generating the most space possible and getting a corner three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Jose. Good pass. How tall is JRE? 6'8, 6'9? 6'9. Yeah. I should have just said Takashi. But yeah, he um everything all right? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you good? <laughs> Iffy, uh, look, he got the stiffy. Uh. Good leg. Good pass. This, I think this is the game I'm thinking about. Get out, single. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, brother. Good screen. Good screen. Oh. Oh, I thought you about to dunk it. Yeah. Supposed to put bro in the basket. Who threw that pass? Uh, Dyson, I think. That's a hell of a pass. Good pass, boy. Good pass, Najee. Dyson shot like two shots in 22 minutes a day. I don't know if you saw. No, y'all, y'all don't say nothing to me when he scored 14 or 16 in the game. I don't say nothing to y'all. You, you, I'm only alerted when he does bad, man. Let it go. He, you know, he a hawk now, bro. A hawk. You went from a hawk to it. Hmm. It, why why are you this way at, at 11 20 at night like what, what what's what's going on that you got to be this way is it too late no nah, it's it's good time it's got some you you drinking coffee like what what's uh uh-uh, no i'm 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 off the juice i'm off the juice I'm clean. the jigger juice we love the jiggers we had to leave the jiggers alone dog you can't <laughs> i just want to oh god Trey. I don't know what that was. You did a double clutch. What was that, brother? Have you practiced that shot? This this was a Najee Jimmy game. Boy, oh, I remember he hit that shot, and I thought they were gonna win. I thought they was gonna win. Look, look at the people in the crowd, bro. They it's crazy to be a fan, dog. Oh, good Ooh, pass. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good pass. They fucking lost that game. Fucking Sebring. Man, you should Matt have shot that. Ryan. Matt Ryan made the pass. Oh. Oh, no. You think Matt go get some minutes? At some point. 
We might have to do a Matt Ryan show. That's a really good shot. It's almost Carl Anthony Towns-ish. Yep. <laughs> yep. Like his base is is oh shit. Damn. Foul. But his uh his shooting base when he when he catches the ball, like like it looks, it reminds me a little bit of cat. Oh, okay, Jose. Jose capable, dog. He capable. I want to see you finish that, uh, Jordan. But I get it. He made the play. The shot. Easy. Off the glass. Goga, you got to get out there, brother. Matt Ryan? You see him? They beat the hell out of these boys, man. Yeah. I'd have shot that too, Matt. Good lady. Oh. All right, all right. That's a nigga. Go Zion. Go back. The accuracy and the fucking uh, the velocity on that pass, bro. Damn, good. <laughs> it's really good. He go. And it's a and it's an unselfish pass because that pass is not even for uh. It wasn't even for Jose. It wasn't like Jose wasn't the one that was going. It was going to ever end up taking that shot. All right, so check this out. We did I think something. We've seen um, enough. Yeah, we did. We did. I was just gonna say this. We got some advanced stats on JRE. So advanced stats this season, based on his minutes, um, three hundred thirty-four total minutes per thirty-six. He would average twelve points, eight rebounds. He would shoot thirty-three percent from three on four shots. Sound like a Sound like a solid, uh, solid player, but in, in all actuality, if we going off the just the per game totals, it was two point nine points on one point nine rebounds. Look, dog, you give me in in this era, if you play thirty six minutes, you only give me tw- twelve and eight. I be mean, eight, you know. But again, I, I, I'm I'm in, I'm I'm very interested to see if he has a real opportunity to. Steal some minutes, or maybe I mean, m- maybe he wouldn't be still in minutes. You know, m- maybe he's somebody that they're actually counting on already right now, and kind of projecting how they think you know things are gonna go when mini camps pop off at the end of the month. Here, you know, I, I, I'm, I am, he's someone that isn't mentioned enough, and maybe that is, um, with reason. Mm-hmm. But I, 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 I like, I like some things about Robinson Earl's game. Yeah, man, he nice, man. Shout out to uh, JRE. Um, that's really all I had, dog. Yeah, man. Yo, y'all, y'all go out and check out the God off with Trey Jemison show that we did, man. Any anything else, man? Hey. We've been working. Look, dog, a, a challenge, a challenge to all of y'all, man. I don't care if y'all recording, if y'all working, if y'all, you know, what I'm saying, if y'all not working, if y'all on y'all solo grind. You know what I'm saying? You know, you raising a family, whatever, whatever you doing, work hard, work hard. This is this this my challenge, our challenge to y'all. Work harder. Whatever you doing, you ain't working hard enough. Maybe you are working hard enough, but I'm telling you, you ain't working hard enough, so you can work some more. You know what I'm saying? Keep going, keep striding, keep getting better, keep stacking days. You know what I'm saying? Stacking the wins and you know, uh, learning from the L's. Yeah, man. Nah, you ain't working hard enough. And don't talk about it. Just do it. We don't need to see yeah. it. I don't want to hear yeah. about it. I just want to see. I just want to see the work. I want to see the work, dog. When I seen him throw that ball. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Before we get out of here. I'm not going to lie and, and, and portray um this ultimate poise. Like I've been had it figured out. Nah, I just didn't quit. That's the only distinguishing quality from me and probably whoever else going through this or mm-hmm. went through this or is gonna go through this is that I ain't quit. I went through every emotion. I went through every emotion with trying to pursue what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I think that what what gonna separate whoever's gonna try to go for something is that you ain't gonna quit.
Hey, yo, if you hate the content and you want us to talk about something specific, put it in the comments. Let us know. Talk about it. I'm sorry. If you did. I'm not sorry. Shit didn't get redundant. Like, I'm <laughs> kind of good thing giving us. I'm not sorry. Just kind of getting, we're trying to get y'all some shit to talk about. Anyway, you, man. You want to talk about Bally's, bro? Like, you want us to talk about, like, the brand Ingram trade, you know, for like the 35th time, you know, hey, man. But appreciate all y'all that support, man. Y'all know y'all always in the comments, always asking questions. You know what I'm saying? Being being critical or being being um, you know, um, what's the opposite of critical? Why am why am I drawing a blank? Okay, let's go with that. I think what? even the criticism is supportive though. I was about to say we don't mind the criticism at all. Like yeah, we don't mind yeah. the criticism. If you if you talk to us, bro, we talk back. It ain't it ain't we don't think we bigger as far as like platform wise or we don't think we smarter than nobody like we just having we just trying to have yeah. a basketball conversation don't lie to us you ain't got to <laughs> <For real. laughs> don't lie to us but but if it is a lie what do you say what do you say we're gonna stand on that lie we're gonna stand on that lie we're gonna fight on that lie yeah we're gonna fight on that lie what would he say oh, thank the lord what would he say all right, don't worry about it.